Okay. I wanted to talk about the Infested Mine loot table. This is a really odd, odd thing. It's not too bad. It's not too terribly wonderful either. Uh, it's definitely better than what people think. However, still not very amazing. Kind of disappointing. And let's get into why. So, number one, coins. Ah, we don't really need these coins at the moment. I understand this is most likely a thing for the future. Definitely a future investment, and it's nice to decorate with coin piles now to just sort of have our investments on display. Uh, definitely, whatever next is going to be unlocked at Haldor is going to be pretty expensive. So when the Ashlands drops, whatever Haldor will have, you know, if eggs are 1,500 coins, hmm, the next thing might be quite a bit. Or if it's uh, even, could be less, but it might not be too less, like, if something's less, it could be like 800 coins still. And uh, yeah, it's good to have a stockpile. Still, doesn't feel rewarding in the moment. Uh, Dvergur Tankard, this thing is purely decoration. It's nice, they're nice and rare. You also see them in Dvergur homes, that's cool. Uh, pro tip, you can actually pick up the lanterns that are just sitting around if you have an, uh, an E prompt to pick them up. And also with the Dvergur tankards in Dvergur homes, even if you haven't cleared the Dvergur or destroyed the ward, you can just pick them up and they won't be mad at you. So, yeah, that's cool. You know, I like the lanterns more than the tankard, and the lanterns are in far larger supply, and the decoration and utility is much greater. I have like four or five tankards, so it's really cool to have them around, but even so, um, not the most interesting thing in them. And this is the thing that people. People really don't like this, uh, this last four here. Uh, minor healing mead, minor stamina. Poison res is okay. You know, the queen deals poison damage. Being able to focus fermenting on a lot of really important meads like lingering stam, major healing, uh, miter eider, maybe, and then maybe some extra fire res for y'alls. Being able to focus on those and completely ignore crafting and fermenting poison res just getting them from infested mine chests that's great it's like okay perfect you know i only need, needed to make a little bit of poison res at the beginning of the game then go get the root mask and then i'm set and i don't really want to craft anymore and they give you some so that's a not bad reward looks nice minor healings it's not bad it's not really good either like i, I make good use of them as a mage running like either either stamina you bubble up your Summon two skeletons in an infested mine and then bubble them up. Your HP is pretty low, but you're pretty well protected. And uh, if you just wanted to top yourself off, you could just drink a minor healing. I've done that a couple times. Still nothing too interesting because I also just have a stockpile of medium healings that I would drink also. So mm, not the best thing. And yeah, like super high chance to get it. I don't understand. Uh, minor stamina. This is the largest question mark for me. What? I'm not gonna... Minor stamina? Really? Like, I, I guess if you're doing, like, building or something, or... Some sort of, like, really menial task around the base or something. You could just pop a free minor stamina that you got from the infested mine. And then continue along with your, your task or what have you, but... I, I, I have so many stamina pots left over from all of my adventures. Like, this is something that I want to make uh, in bulk, like my stamina meets. And I have big priority for lingering stamina at this point, so it's not like I'm going to be drinking these willy-nilly in the Mistlands. It's goofy. It's that. I don't, I don't get it. Uh, I feel like these should be, I don't know, maybe a chance of lingering or something. I'm not sure. Uh, sausages, sausages are cool, still not very good, I mean, it's something to use to go into past biomes, like if you're a Dvergur Lantern Fiend like I am, you probably want Crystal to make more of them, where do you get Crystal? Mountains, Frost Caves, what's good food to have there so that you don't eat all of your big Miss Lance expensive food? Uh, sausages, and you get plenty of sausages, so that's fine, it sort of feeds into itself, it sort of feeds into the progression of uh, going biome to biome and just crafting a bunch of different things. 
using old food for past biomes is always going to be good. And uh, sausages here, not bad. Now, when I'm doing co-op especially, this is just terrible. Because the cooking, farming, and especially the Mistlands food renewability is so high that I just ignore the sausages completely. Even when going into past biomes, there's just so much food production at this point in co-op that it's not even a problem. It's like, what? I'm, you know, sausages, foolishness. And with the difficulty slider, enemies dealing more damage, running into like a two-star fulling or something with trash food is, might just get you killed. Uh, so, I don't know. Just really, really not very good, the sausages. Just like, a lot of these things have use cases that are way, way too niche uh, compared to their benefit. However, however, this loot table, everything on here looks perfect for trading with Dverger if that were an actual system. And to me, I look at this loot table and I think, huh, wow. It feels like they were this close to implementing a trading system with the Dverger. And each one of these items could have been really cool to trade with them. Maybe for the extractor, or maybe for some soft tissue, maybe for some other things. And we could get uh, a good relationship going with these uh, fine fellows that, unfortunately, now we have to steal from or kill. It's like, that's not fun, especially with Haldor and the upcoming Hildur. Maybe things will change in Hilda's Quest and we'll be able to trade this sort of loot here. It would be also really cool if we uh, were able to trade higher tier potions that we crafted ourselves for a better exchange rate or even better items. I think that would be fascinating and uh, it would make this loot table make a lot more sense. Let me know what you think about this loot table. Were you satisfied, dissatisfied, neutral? Do you think maybe there should be something else in there? like? What type of item do you think would be really good in there? Maybe a bunch of copper scrap or iron? Something like that? That would be cool. Let me know. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys some other time. Bye.